It is a great pleasure to be able to address you like this today, although of course it would have been an even greater pleasure if I could have joined you in person. I was greatly honored to find that I had been chosen as one of foreign policy's top global thinkers. Honored and at the same time humbled. During the last two decades, my life has swung between periods when I had ample time for thought and contemplation, and periods when I hardly had time to catch thoughts of the wing because there was so, so much to do. But in all these years, the one thought that has stayed with me is that we all have to work together to try to improve any situation. That is not an original thought. I think it's as old as humanity, that there is strength in numbers, that we must learn to help each other. But yet, that is a thought that never ages. I wish that I could meet all of you to talk over all the things I have thought about over the last seven years, during which many changes took place in this world. When I came out of detention on the 13th of this month, I suddenly found myself in a new world, as it were. The, the people who came to, to support me, to offer me their greetings and their continued belief in our cause were much younger than the ones with whom I had worked many years ago. A whole new generation, or perhaps I should say several new generations, had joined us. And so it was a younger world. At the same time, it was a slightly stranger world because all these young people were so much more so much more familiar with the new IT revolution than I am. And that really made me happy. It encouraged me and it, it invigorated me because IT technology means simply better communications, better communications between different peoples, between different generations. I do not know what I am supposed to have contributed to the great thinkers of this globe. All I can say is that I stand ready to be taught, to learn, to learn from the new thinking, to learn from younger people, to learn from those who have spent the years that I have spent in detention out in the free world, seeing what is going on, and from that seeing, learning to think again. Because we have to think again and again and again. And yet we never come to the end of our thinking. We never come to the final conclusion. And that is the beauty of human nature, that we can go on, we can keep on going forward, going upwards, going outwards in our minds and in our hearts. This is not the ideas of a thinker that I'm expressing to you. This, these are just the ideas of someone who has lived apart from most of the world for many years and has now come out to join you and to ask for your support, for your help, for your advice, for your friendship. I don't know whether this is what a global thinker is supposed to be saying, but whatever I have said, it comes from my heart, and I hope that you will look upon it kindly. Thank you very much.